Ready! Good afternoon, you guys. How's everyone doing today? Happy great. Sunday! Happy Sunday. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. You're the first person to ask me how I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I know you guys are here to see the dogs, but... Yeah. I'm the one that takes care of them. Thank you. Thank you. Who yeah. takes care of me? That's right. Uh, no, guys. I, I love being here. This is my second season here, and I will continue to come back for a while. Um, it's a, it's a beautiful world up here, uh, but I, I sought out this place for the dogs. I really did. I, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, a little far away. Let's go, Ryan, come on, Ryan, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, a little far away from here. And uh, this is my second year here, my third year working with sled dogs. Let's go, get up there, get up there. I've actually been working with dogs full time for about 12 years. Um, the reason I like saying that right away is so you guys feel confident asking me all your questions. Um, I'm okay if you stump me, but uh, I want to share some knowledge with you. And uh, I'd love to tell you guys what you want to know. So please do feel free to ask questions. Um, first off, I want to start off by talking about the dogs and the specific breed. All the dogs here are Alaskan Huskies. You guys might have been a little thrown off when you approached and you didn't see that many bright blue eyes or you didn't see that many thick coats. Um, you will see one Sepala Siberian Husky down below. She is my personal dog. She does have bright blue eyes and a thicker coat. The Sepala Siberian Husky is kind of the cornerstone to the Alaskan Husky. Sepala was Balto's musher. His name was Leonard Sepala. He was one of the first guys who said, hey, these dogs are fast, but I bet we can make them faster. Gee, gee. He started adding Greyhound and German Shorthair Pointer into the Siberian line. Fast forward, they said this worked out so great. Let's do it some more. Let's take attributes from the best dogs all over the world. The most athletic, the best coat, some of the best oils for those coats. So. Back in the gold rush days, there were dogs all over the country used, and they weren't all Siberian Huskies. They were, believe it or not, Great Danes, wow. um, Newfoundlands, St. Bernards. And then they realized, very similar to how swimmers are built and track and field athletes are built, they realized that elongated frame is really good, but also having those springy muscles is really good too. So those Greyhound and German Shorthair Pointers were great to add in there, but also Salukis and Whippets and Weimaraners and Vizlas mm. and a high, high drive working dog known as the Belgian Malinois. If you guys are familiar with Malinois, uh, I would like to know how. Um, <laughs> they are used in the military and the police use them. So ideally, if you know one, it's because your buddy is a trainer or you're, you know a police officer or whatnot because they're not used as pets. They, they're, they're called malligators for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, and they're used for bite work for a reason. The dogs, let's go. Get up there, Crimson. Get up there. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. So that drive, that high, high drive of a Malinois is in there. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. All these girls wanting to mark all over each other's stuff. Come on, split, come on! Let's go, guys! Split, come on! Come on! Let's go, let's go! Let's go! That's what'll happen when you have five dogs trying to stop to go to the bathroom while climbing a hill on a 600 pound cart. But as they all work together, it's pretty, it's pretty nice and smooth ride up the hill. But when your lead dogs and your middle third dogs and your back third dogs start to slow down and tap out, Things can happen. Whoa! They're dogs. I don't mind. And so, some of the other breeds that I really want to touch on real quick, and I'll wrap that part up, is the Irish Setter. A really long, lean build. Also, I mentioned the oils. There are natural oils in their coat which keep the ice and snow from sticking to them. Those oils are from a breed called the Chesapeake Retriever. They're a duck hunting dog. They are waterproof. 